This is the beautiful IKEA Fabricor glass cabinet, glass and metal cabinet. It's in green. They no longer make it in green. I don't know why, because it looks great. Um, in our Airbnb, we use it to store towels. Uh, there are beach towels down there, and then regular towels go up there. The issue with this cabinet is the only way you can open and close it is with a key. It just swings open without the key uh, normally. It's kind of cool that it locks, but there's no other way for it to stay shut and for you to have a handle to open and close it without the key and turning it. Um, as you can see, this has had a lot of wear and tear. This is actually the second or third time that this has broken. And it's basically just a file cabinet uh, lock here. If you look in a file cabinet, you can see it's similar. But unfortunately, I think I've glued this on here because I was having such a hard time with it. Little kids who come in and out will often mess with this and open and close it and turn the key. And finally, it broke in half. So you can see here that the apparatus to open and close it, I mean, it literally just snapped in half. This just snapped off. Um, we found part of it on the floor and there's no way to open and close the cabinet now. It just kind of stays open. So here's my hack that I'm going to do. I have this kind of perfect knob that I just happen to have. Um, it's cool because it has this like flat part here. So I'm going to use a washer in the back and I'm going to put this knob here so we actually have an open and close knob. You can see that this screw came with the knob, but it was actually about a quarter inch longer because it's used for drawers, not like a thin metal cabinet. So I actually took a hacksaw and just sawed off part of this screw. You can probably also buy smaller screws, but this one happened to fit with this, so I just hacked it off. Check it out. So what I did was I used just a little washer. That's my screw there. And there's my knob. And it kind of is perfect. This is just kind of like a satin nickel, or you could get a chrome knob, and it looks perfect. Now the other problem is, so you shut it, it's not really going to stay shut. So what we need to do is make this into a little magnet closure. The great thing is it's metal. So what we need to do is we're going to glue a tiny little magnet right here, or maybe right here somewhere. Um, cause this lip is what keeps it shut. Okay. You can see that I got these very little thin magnets. I bought them on eBay and I glued them on the corners. This is the top corner. This is the bottom corner. This is our little knob. And there we go. It stays shut. You can't see the magnets, the little pull looks perfect, and it works great.